vector representation. <laughs> there are four different ways of representing vectors. There are four different ways of representing the same vector. For example, if you have one vector AB, which is equal to 2i plus 3j, you know, this expression gives AB in one way. There are, four, there are three other ways of representing this same vector. So the, different, the four different ways of representing vectors are coordinate form, row form, column form, and polar form. This is a vector represented in coordinate form. 2i plus 3j, this is in coordinate form. This vector is represented in column form. This is column form. This vector is represented in row form. And this is represented in polar form. Let me go over the different ways again and label them. This is in row form. This is in column form. This is represented in polar form. This example is represented in polar form. And this one is represented in coordinate form. This is represented in what? In what form? Coordinate form. So, those are the four different ways of representing vectors. We we'll now, you know, explain how when one vector is when, how when a vector is given in one form, we can express it in another form. For example, this vector a b in Roman one, one is in coordinate form, but I can write it easily in row form by just writing 2 comma 3 in brackets. This mn is in coordinate form. I can write it in polar form. I can write it in column form. I can write it in row form. So in our next video, we will discuss how to represent each vector in the different various forms, in the different forms.